Gametocytes are responsible for malaria parasite transmission. Generating infectious gametocytes in the lab is key to studying transmission biology and mosquito stages and to generating sporozoites for liver stage research. These methods are simple for any laboratory to adopt and visual demonstration will aid in the sharing of these procedures with the worldwide malaria community. Demonstrating the procedure with me will be my colleagues Godfrey Malambo, a senior research associate, and Sachi Kanatani, a postdoctoral fellow, both from the Johns Hopkins Malaria Research Institute. To set up a gametocyte culture, spin down 5 milliliters of feeder culture in a centrifuge and resuspend the pellet in 30 milliliters of complete medium. Mix 1.2 milliliters of packed red blood cells with the tube contents and add 5 milliliters of the resulting suspension to each well of a 6 well culture plate. Then, place the plate in a candle jar at 37 degrees Celsius. Every day for the next 15 to 18 days, carefully aspirate 70 to 80 percent of the culture supernatant from each well and use a serological pipette to add 5 milliliters of fresh medium without blood cells down the wall of each well to feed the cultures without disturbing the settled red blood cell layer. To quantify mature gametocytemia, on day 15 to 18, make a blood smear and count the number of mature gametocytes in a minimum of 1,000 red blood cells to allow calculation of the percentage of mature gametocyte-infected red blood cells. To quantify the X-flagellation events, centrifuge 200 microliters of the gametocyte culture in a pre-warmed tube and resuspend the pellet in 20 microliters.